Sure. Proud of our guys. I thought we competed. Played the game the right way. Thought they had great energy on the sidelines. Uh, really proud of the defensive guys in the fourth quarter. Uh, we had a chance where we could have cashed it in, and we didn't. Um, tough opener. That's a, that's a tough game to start, start your uh, career with. You know, that's, a, that's not a good football team. That's a very good football team. I thought they're, they're very disciplined. They're well coached. I think I, I said this coming into the game. They're one of the hottest teams in the country. You know, outside of Ohio State, they played extremely well down the stretch last year, and they came in here tonight um, with a lot of confidence, with a lot of confidence. Uh, if you look at them, the thing that sticks out to me is they've got great length across the board. They've got great length. We'll talk to our coaches about it coming in the game, and we'll talk about it tomorrow too. That's what we're looking to recruit is length. It's a, it's a deciding factor in, today, in the way the football's played today. Um, Jacoby Brissett, he, uh, he's special. He's special. I think he had one incompletion in the first half. I think he's a Heisman Trophy candidate. I think he'll continue to prove that uh, as we go in. Um, you know, the story of the game was third downs. You look at it, that's why we had so few plays. We were, I think, one of nine on third downs. They were very successful on third and fourth downs. You know, so if you look at it, they were, uh, especially in the first half when they took the lead, they did a nice job on third and fourth downs. We've got to be better. The truth of the matter is they're a better football team than us right now. And we've got to accept that. And we've got to go out and go and get better and get better. I think a lot of football teams make a big improvement from week one to week two, and that's going to be our goal. Questions? Speaking of those third downs, um, you know, the defense made some adjustments in the second half. It seemed like of course a few more you know, three and outs. You know, you mm -hmm. 21 points, one of those came, and some of those came off that fumble there uh, where short field. So what were we all able to do uh, at halftime? Yeah, I thought, I thought that Coach Coning and our defense staff did a tremendous job. If you look at, you know, they played a lot of plays. Some of that because we couldn't convert offensively on third down. Some of it because we couldn't get off the field defensively on third downs. Uh, but our guys competed. We played a lot of bodies over there on defense tonight. And we're going to continue to do that leading into, leading into uh, conference play. But I thought, you know, we're well coached on defense. You know, and, and our, guys, our guys competed hard. Uh, we were in position to make some plays. We missed some tackles. We're not going to be the only team that, uh, that's on North Carolina State schedule that has a hard time tackling the quarterback in days. You know, those are special players. So. But I said, this is this. We know where we're at. You know, it's a starting point. The offense, uh, you know, had some big plays, uh, which was something you were looking to, mm -hmm. to establish. But, you know, what explains some of the inconsistency you had, in, especially in the first half? They're good. <laughs> I mean, they're good. I mean, anytime there's a reason, you know, they're playing in the ACC and they're picked to finish toward the upper uh, in their division, in a division that's one of the toughest in college football. They're coming off a, a highly successful run at the end of the season. You look at, you look at the defense. You look at the type of style of defense and type of defense they played at the end of last season. I guess some some really good football teams, some really good offenses. You know, North Carolina, Central Florida, some some good football programs, and you know to come out, it's 35-21, and uh, we had a great stop on defense. We got the ball, and and we fumbled. You know, we got we got to look at that hit. We've got to look at that hit, and uh, we'll look at it on the plane ride home and, and see. Chris, it was almost perfect. I think only two incompletions in the game. What do you learn from playing against someone that's out? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that helps us, you know, but he's, we learned he's a good player. You know, he's efficient. They did a nice job. They did a nice job with some formation shifts and some motions that uh, some of our younger DBs got a little bit confused early in the game. Uh, so we got some easy throws. And I equate it to basketball. If you can get some easy throws early in the game, then you know if you get a layup or a free throw, and you can kind of get yourself going if you're a scorer. And that's the same way for a quarterback. If you get some easy completions, and I thought uh, Coach Canada, their OC, did a nice job getting him some easy completions and getting him rolling. The big plays. Um, you know, uh, what do you attribute to that? Is that just a, a lot of off-season work paying off? Well, if you look at those big plays, when we were able to get those, when we were able to tempo. You know, and, and you only can tempo if you get first downs. So a lot of those plays came on tempo plays. Um, and then Brian Holmes made a couple big plays for us. Uh, you know, hopefully he's able to come back. I haven't, I haven't heard exactly what his injury is. Um, but, but he played really well. His speed showed today. That's what I was looking for. We obviously have challenged him the last couple weeks. And I thought he showed up in a big way today. And we're going to continue to try to hit some big plays. You know, I, I, I don't know how many we hit. I know we had four, four big plays. Um, we've got to do a better job, you know, getting ourselves in third and manageable. I mean, that's, that's, that's the bottom line. That was fun. I enjoyed it. I thought we had a really good following here. You know, I thought our, our guys, our, our crew over in the corner, I was glad to see our pet band here. Uh, thought, I thought we traveled well. You know, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Obviously, I'm not pleased with the outcome, 
But but I am proud to represent Troy. I'm proud of those guys in those in that locker room. I think we're a better football team uh, now, you know, than than we have when we have been. And I think they they're playing with a lot of confidence. Very good. Thanks, coach. All right, thank you.